Okay, I want to uh, thank all of you for being here. Uh, five years ago, the uh, Congress voted to send this nation to war against Iraq. We know now, based on indisputable proof, that there was no cause to go to war against Iraq. Uh, I gave Congress an analysis five years ago that totally debunked, totally debunked the Bush call for war. I pointed out that, that there was no proof that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, had any connection to al-Qaeda's role in 9-11, that Iraq had no connection to 9-11. In fact, it didn't have the, uh, the capability or the intention of attacking the United States of America. Nevertheless, five years later, we're still at war against Iraq. Now, you know and I know that the Democratic leaders promised the American people that if the people voted Democrat, that uh, they would take steps to get out of Iraq. As a matter of fact, that's what the 2006 election was about. Uh, it goes without saying, but it should be said, that had Democratic leaders said, vote Democrat, and we will keep uh, the troops in Iraq through 2008, through 2013, as some are saying, uh, the chance of the Democrat taking back the House or the Senate would have been uh, uh, very unlikely. So here we are with the Democratic-controlled House and Senate. And uh, recent news reports indicate that the funding of the next supplemental is likely to go into the next year. Now, what that means is obvious. And that is that there's money in the pipeline right now to bring the troops home. And I'm here on behalf of the American people to demand that our Democratic leadership go to the president and tell the president, Mr. President, we're not going to give you another dime for this war. You have the money to bring the troops home. It would cost an estimated five to ten billion dollars. And concurrent with that, we must not only bring the troops home and end the occupation, but a, a, a process must be set in motion for an international peacekeeping and security force that would move in as our troops leave. That way we end the occupation and stabilize Iraq at the same time. This is a very important moment in the life of our nation. Either the Democrats are going to keep true to their word as a party, or we're going to find that the American people will continue to lose faith in government. They're waiting to see if the Democrats will step forward to challenge this president. To me, it is just simply not satisfactory that we watch this war drift into the uh, deep into winter or into next spring, uh, that we prepare for another appropriations that will keep the war going through the end of Mr. Bush's term. Democrats must act now. The money is there now to bring the troops home. We must tell the president now, no more money for the war, no more appropriations. It doesn't take another vote to end this war. There's a common misconception that, well, we're not ending the war because the Democrats don't have the votes. We don't need another vote. We need only the leadership to go to the president to say, no more votes, no more appropriations. Use the money you have now to bring the troops home. And that's what I'm here to say. Uh, my credibility is that I saw exactly what was happening five years ago, and I called it for what it was a war based on lies. And I'm letting the American people know right now that with the same uh, integrity that I demonstrated five years ago, that we can end this war if the, if the Democratic leadership will take the steps to do so. And, and so um, I appreciate you being here. And at this point, uh, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, yeah, uh, speak Go ahead. Speaker Pelosi has said that uh, she would love to end the war, but it's the, the president has the veto power, and that's, and that's why I, I, my response is that the Democratic leaders can go to the president now. It doesn't take a vote. We tell the president, use the money that's available now to bring the troops home. Uh, why the leadership will not do that, uh, I do not know. But I know one thing, that this war does not require a vote to end it. And Chairman, Chairman Obi has suggested that, um, that, that Congress wait until January to, to begin considering a new supplemental. Uh, there are men and women who are dying right now. They're dying in a war based on lies. It is imperative that this Congress take the leadership. I want to go back a year ago. How, why did the Democrats win the majority? They voted, people voted Democrat because they had the clear and unmistakable impression that was given by the Democratic Party. You vote Democrat, you end the war. The Democrats are saying, well, we don't have enough votes. Uh, what would be enough? The fact of the matter is that we need to tell the president now no more money. The war needs money to keep going. We, sh we do not and should not pass another appropriations bill. 
See, once you get into the uh, interior logic of whether you have enough votes, you're talking about a bill. I'm not talking about a bill. I'm saying that money is there today. And, uh, and, and any, by any level of analysis, if you read the reports that were written last week, very clear there's an intention to, um, uh, uh, to postpone the supplemental until 2008. Uh, meanwhile, what about our troops, our men and women who are there? Who, who cares about them? Who's saying that, look, maybe you know, we, we need to uh, keep our faith with the American people and bring the troops home now? So again, the, the question that should be put to the Democratic leadership is why don't you go to the White House and tell the President the war is over, no more money for the war. Force the White House to set in motion a security and peacekeeping plan that would stabilize Iraq as our troops leave. We cannot permit this war to continue on. I said five years ago this was wrong. It was wrong five years ago, and it's wrong today to continue it. Any other questions about the war? Do you see Congress repeating the same mistakes to a potential war with Iran? Yes. The war in Iraq was based on lies. A similar path of lies are being laid to set us in a conflict against Iran. Now, what I want to know is, if we're borrowing money from China to pay for a war against Iraq, who will we borrow money from to pay for a war against Iran? Or will we have to cut further education or health care or housing funds? What's happening to our domestic agenda here? It's all being destroyed in the name of war. Now, I've made it very clear that, that and everything I said five years ago turned out to be 100% right. And everything the administration said turned out to be 100% wrong. And they're still 100% wrong. And that's why our congressional leaders ought to stand up to this administration. The American people expect them to do that. And I'm here to call on them publicly to do it and also to let the American people know that there's no reason for this war to continue, that the leadership has the power to end it now, and the American people have a right to expect that they will, especially since that's how we gained control of the House and, and the Senate in 2006.